We live in the age of conspiracy theories. The earth is flat, aliens are real, COVID is a hoax. We hear all kinds of conspiracy theories every day, some hilarious, some not so much. Russia's foreign minister is peddling one such theory. He says Hitler was part Jewish. Listen to this. The Ukrainian president puts forward an argument. What kind of Nazification can we have if I am Jew? If I remember right, I may be wrong, but Hitler also had Jewish origins. So it doesn't mean absolutely anything. For some time we have heard from the wise Jewish people that the biggest anti-Semites were Jewish. And just to be clear, there is no evidence for what he said. No DNA, no empirical proof, nothing to corroborate this claim. Having said that, this is not a new theory. It's been around since the 1930s. So the question is, where did this scandalous idea come from? It goes back to Hitler's father. He was an illegitimate child. His mother cooked for a Jewish man, but the father, nobody knows. And this led to rumors. What if there was an affair? What if this Jewish man was Hitler's biological grandfather? Now, these rumors were fueled by one more development. Hitler's grandmother was paid a maintenance by this Jewish employer. The money kept coming until Hitler's father came of age. I know it all sounds murky, but there is a logical explanation. All these theories are based on claims by Hitler's lawyer, a certain Hans Frank. Hitler once told Hans the entire story. Apparently, the maintenance was a scheme. Hitler's mother convinced the employer that he was the father. Why? To scheme money from him. Most historians are doubtful about the entire thing. The Jewish employer, the affair, the scheme, all of it. No proof. Nonetheless, the conspiracy gained popularity, especially after Hitler came to power in the 1930s. Remember, this was a period of intense anti-Semitism. So Hitler's rivals played on it. Even today, some people believe the entire story. They say Hitler was shameful of his alleged Jewish roots, and this shame led to the Holocaust. Extremists peddling this theory is one thing. Russia's foreign minister doing it is quite another. Because this claim is not about history. It's about 21st century politics. The reactions are already pouring in, and needless to say, Israel is livid. Their foreign minister says he expects an apology from Russia. It is an unforgivable, scandalous statement, as you said, and also, of course, a terrible historical mistake, and we expect an apology. Well, good luck to Israel with that, because Russia is not apologizing. In fact, they're doubling down. Moscow says Israel is supporting neo-Nazis in Ukraine. What explains this outrage? Just one month back, Putin was hosting Israel's prime minister in Moscow. Israel was being pushed as a negotiator. And now Lavrov says Hitler was Jewish. How exactly did things break down? One theory is that Russia is unhappy with Israel's position. They have opened field hospitals in Ukraine. They've sent humanitarian supplies. Perhaps Moscow was expecting a different role from Israel. Well, even if that was the case, Russia has a weird way of expressing displeasure. Just think about this. No Israeli prime minister can remain neutral after this. Until now, Naftali Bennett had refused to pick sides. And there was a reason for that. Russia controls the airspace in Syria. Without Russian help, Israel cannot strike Iranian proxy targets. So Bennett had a choice, a rather clear choice, Russia or Iran. And like any Israeli leader, he chose to tackle Iran and to go with Russia. But these comments by Lavrov complicate matters. On the one hand, the Iran nuclear talks have broken down again. Reports say the deal is as good as dead. On the other, you have Russia making anti-Semitic statements. Basically, pushing Israel into a corner. The ball is now in Naftali Bennett's court. Does he stick with neutrality? Or does he move closer to the West? Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.